Jay. Look, that's her. Come on, man. Are you sure? Yes, it's got to be. I recognise the face from the bulletin board. It's her, right? The parking meter bandit. Still think that name's a bit dramatic. Well, no, it's not. Okay, name one person who's called her that, apart from you. That's not the point. Look at what she's doing. It's a serious crime. Five separate gigs she's performed now. Five different times she's parked the car. Double yellow lines. Every single time. I think we should bring her to justice. And who better than the two baddest butchers to ever join the police force, boy? Okay, so, what's our game plan? I say we just rush her back. There's two of us. She's got no chance. Uh, I mean, that's gonna be dangerous. There's civilians everywhere. Have you thought about the safety Easy of- Easy there, Sugar Bear. Here's what's gonna happen. I'll go in, distract the crowd, get them safely out of the way, then you swoop in and arrest her. Cool? All right, yeah, I like that, I like the sound of that plan. Are you ready, Jay, for the first and biggest bust of our careers? Born ready, mate. On three on the strats. One, two, wait, why have you got your gun out? Three! This is an arrest. Everybody get out of here unless you want more holes in you than Swiss cheese. Start running! It's okay, everyone! We're officers of the law! Stay calm! Start running, I said! Calmly! Start running! Calmly! Sam, the parking meter bandit, take her down! You have the right to raise the hand! Jay, Jay, need backup! Damn. Calling all units, calling all units ASAP! We need backup here on Vauxhall Street! SWAT team, helicopter, send everything! I meant backup from you, you idiot! Not the police! Well, why didn't you just say that then? I didn't think you'd be so stupid that I'd need to say that! But God why are you even in the police? Do you know what you are doing? So what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Sam. Sam, it's Big Ball. Look, Sam. Uh, yeah, I can oh. see that. Uh, shut up. Uh, Big Boss, uh, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? A better question is what are you two doing here? You see? I got a call from a friend, the owner of this place, saying that two party police officers are waving around their gun trying to arrest someone. Yes, Big Ball, sir. The parking meter bandit. The what? <laughs> we received reports of a local criminal, sir, so we just came down to investigate. And which criminal is this? A local musician, sir. She'd been evading parking ticket after parking ticket. It was out of control. We had to come and investigate. Oh, you came to investigate? So tell me again, Kapoor, why on my way here I heard a radio request for a SWAT team? We, uh, needed backup. This is the party police department! We don't have a SWAT team! <laughs> so where is this parking meter bandit? I assume you arrested her? I am, um, she evaded us. Evaded! <laughs> she made you a prey, man. You what? So let me get this straight. You two come in your gun blazing, trying to arrest someone who's avoiding parking tickets, scare a whole bunch of innocent people, call up a SWAT team that doesn't exist, and you still didn't even arrest her. Not true, Big Boss Al. We called the SWAT team and the helicopter. Listen to me very, very carefully. You two are the most incompetent, clueless, and uninformed officers that I've had the misfortune to work with. You're lucky that I know the owner of this place, otherwise he'd be pressing charges. I'm this close to asking you to turn in your badge. No, no, no! We worked so hard for this! Please, Big Boss Up! I've stood for so many hours to get to this stage in my career! Shut up, Singh! Get your sorry ass off the floor! I'm going to give you two one more shot! Oh, thank you so much, sir! You will not regret it! Not this. so fast, Singh! I'm not just going to put you back in the street. I've got something else in mind. I've heard a lot about this new program for baby-faced officers, sending them undercover as teenagers to places where adults won't blend in. Uh, just for the record, I'm not baby-faced. I choose to stay clean shaven. It's funny. I was just thinking this morning, where can I find two officers who look like they're on the wrong side of puberty? And then I stumble across... And then I stumble across you two. It's your lucky day. Sorry. What are we doing exactly? You two, Kutte are going to Imperial. Imperial? As in the measurement? No, oh, the university, right? Exactly. You are going undercover in Imperial, posing as pressures. To do what exactly? 
As you may know, Imperial College London are famous for the world-renowned curly fries, or at least they were, up until three weeks ago. A new brand of curly fries has popped up on campus, and it's driving the union out of business. So, what's this going to do with us? This mysterious curly fry operation, and whoever's running it, is running it illegally. And it's up to you two knuckleheads to shut it down. Don't worry, boss. We got this covered. We'll find them. Excellent. Tomorrow morning, head over to the South Kensington campus. Get out of these uniforms and wear something a bit more down with the kids. Ah, you see, I've got this bright orange turtleneck from back in my undergraduate days. It's a bit of a statement. Chair, make sure he doesn't embarrass himself too much. People will start getting suspicious. We don't want your covers to be blown before we even start. Wait, we have covers? Like secret identities? Yes, exactly like secret identities. Jack Kapoor, you will now be known as Bunty. And Sam Singh, you will now be known as Bubbly. Make, <laughs> make sure to read your case files. You can find them at your new headquarters. We have a headquarters? Yes, Knightsbridge. 21 Knightsbridge. You know the mission. Infiltrate the dealers, find the supplier. <laughs> And that concludes your tour of Imperial. I've been told to drop into the Dean's office. It's just over there on the left. Ah, thank you so much. Uh, Summer, it was very nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. What are your names again? So, I'm Jay. Uh, Jay, Jay Hind. Uh, <laughs> I'm Bunty. This is Bubbly. I still can't believe you two are brothers. Me neither. Oh, one more thing. Ditch red lanyards. It kind of screams fresher. Someone say fresher! Uh, what was that? That was a shot. There's quite a lot of them around here. If I were you two, I'd be careful. <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> okay, thank you for all your help. I think we really best to go and see the Dean now. Hey, so, uh, what are you doing this evening? Well, I, uh... Oh, seven nine me, yeah? Is that Dude, me? what is your problem? I was totally about to get her number. This is serious business. We're here on a mission. No time for you to be on the church. <sighs> Whatever, man. I'm not saying we, can, we won't have, we're not going to get the job done. I'm just saying, what's wrong with having a bit of fun along the way? God, you've really not changed at all since uni, have you? Come on, let's go and see the dean. <laughs> Come in. Ah. Gentlemen, a pleasure to meet you. Jay and Samir, right? You two must be the secret agents. Shh! Keep your voice down! Someone will hear you! Sorry, sorry. I just get so excited sometimes. Right. I'm Vivek Malotra, but you can call me the Dean. Now, I, I know I'm gonna forget this. Bunty and Bubbly, right? I'm Bunty. He's bubbly. Yes, I knew it was something like that. It's not something like that. We've been given very specific undercover identities. Him, Bunty, medic, footballer, absolute idiot. Me, bubbly, engineer, chess player, genius. It's important we don't make any mistakes. Okay, relax. I'm sure the Dean understands. Sorry about him, Dean. He gets a bit uptight sometimes. No, no, no. Not to worry at all, boys. But don't you worry. I pride myself in attention to detail. From here on out, no mistakes. I take it Bigfather's filled you in on your operation? This illegal curly fry operation, right? Mind telling us a bit more? Honestly, it's a travesty! Our curly fries used to be world famous! Why do you think we have so many international students? They travel thousands of miles to buy the finest fried snack money can offer. But ever since these criminals, these scoundrels have started selling their product, it's all anyone's talking about. Come here, I'll let you turn on a little secret. Paying rent in South Kensington, it's not cheap. And our main source of income has dropped to nearly zero. Hold on a minute. Your main source of income was selling curly fries. We need you two to stop their operation as soon as possible. 
All right, so where do we get started? Well, you've got me there. I, I really don't know. It's all young people business, you see. None of the staff can seem to get their hands on anything. You have to see what you can find out. But don't you worry. I asked my secretary to grab some students for you to meet with, and they'll help you in with university life, and who knows? Maybe you'll become best friends. Pratisha, send down the students, please. Right. Let's see who we've got here. Out the way, out the way, yo, 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 lads. What you saying? What you saying? I'm Sabi, this is Rishi, Isha, Shakira. We're all third year medics. Um, any of you boys play football by any chance? Ah, oh, yes. Okay. You're the footballer. Bunty over here is a medic. And he's a top goal scorer in his old school. Go on, go on. No way, yo lads. We've got another medic. Uh, <coughs> Dean, uh, I think you're forgetting. I can't forget the chess grandmaster himself. Boys, this is Bubbly. And I'm the chess player. I'm Yash, by the way. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Sir, think about what we discussed. You guys do Triple E, right? This guy is a genius. 100% in chemistry, physics, and maths A-levels. Insane. Uh, Dean? Amazing. Finally, another intellectual. <laughs> All right, Einstein. How about you take Bubbly and the rest of the freak show down to the labs or something? Play with your chemistry set? We'll pick a Bunty over here. Come on, lads. I C S M I C D E F I D E F Amazing, amazing. See, they're best friends already. Boys, why don't you run along too? Yeah, come on, Bubbly. You need to see the new 3D printers in the labs. <laughs> Listen, guys, uh, I've got a couple of things to start out with the Dean first. I'll um, see you there. Sure. Team, roll out on three. One, two, three, science! science! <laughs> <laughs> You've outdone you yourself once again. <laughs> Dean! <laughs> Dean! Ah, Jay, my boy. Wait, what am I saying? Bubbly, my boy. Secret mission going well, I take it. <laughs> you idiot! I'm Bunty. I'm the medic. I'm the football sensation. He's meant to be the engineer. Oh dear. Chess champion! I don't even know how to play chess! Oh dear, okay, alright. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Well, it's not that hard. Can't you just swap to who you're meant to be in the first place? Why? No! We can't! You just introduced us to a bunch of students. What are we gonna say? Oh, sorry, we got our lives mixed up? <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Sam can pretend to be athletic heartthrob for a while, and I'll just be nerdy genius. How hard can it be? And then they showed me the wind tunnel. And then we went to the library for the rest of the day. What did you get up to yesterday? Pints. Pints? Honestly, it was terrible. We just wouldn't stop drinking. You know what my metabolism is like. 15 minutes later and I passed out. Woke up an hour later and my shoes and wallet were missing. <laughs> Sounds pretty wild. You really are one of the lads, aren't you? It's not funny! How am I going to keep this up? We've got football training on Thursday, and I don't think I've kicked a ball since like year nine. Oh, man, take it easy, all right? We don't have to be here long. As soon as we're done with this curly fry operation, we're out of here. Besides, the Dean made them talk to you. I'm sure they don't, they don't even want to be your friend. Yo, Bunty, over here. You were saying? Come on, let's go. All right, Sammy. Bunty me, last night was mad. Oh, nice, yeah, guys. Um, are you seriously trying to chill with us? I... Uh... I think you're looking for your squad over there. Come on, are, are you serious? Bunty, come on. I mean, I know he's your brother and stuff, but we can't have these freaks ruining our style. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I wouldn't want to cramp your style. You realize having highlights in your hair doesn't make you cool, right? What are you trying to say? You look like you have a shrine to Zayn Malik in your room. Who the hell do you think you are? Stay in my face and you'll find out. Get with each other! Please. Just go and sit with Yash and the rest of them lot. Really? You're seriously gonna let that guy talk to me like Come this? Come on, we really don't want to make a scene. Fine. Have fun, Bunty. Come on, man. There was no need for that. The bird knew. Come on, man. We can't make exceptions. Gotta keep our standards high, you know. And besides, Vishy was new a few months ago. Difference is, he knows who his boys are. My guy. Sorry about that, man. Sometimes it's a bit leaky. Oh, no, no. Uh, don't worry about it. Wait, Vishy, I thought you were a fourth year. How come Savi said you knew? Yeah. I'm uh, integrated from UCL. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to ask, how comes you and Bobby joined in the middle of the year? Oh, we were on a waiting list. In the middle of February. Hey, we were just as surprised as you are. So, any tips for being the new guy around here? But man, just be yourself. Don't try and be someone you're not. Eh? Uh... Anyways, you end up fitting in one way or another. It was a bit hard at first, can't lie. Now that's Sabi, Sabi, look to us. Felicia, and uh, here I am. Oh, are you and Felicia a thing? Actually, we're celebrating our anniversary pretty soon. Richie, please, it's been two weeks. <laughs> He's actually such a beg. Almost as much, of, almost as much of a beg as Danny. Wait, who's Danny? Impossible to describe. You've got to meet the guy. Speak of the devil. Honestly, you're like the only girl that I talk to. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I know we're just friends. I was just saying. <coughs> oh, you've got a boyfriend? Oh, that's all right. You look like the type of girl that could use too. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Please, please. Don't hang up, don't, don't hang up, please. Look, I just wanted to tell you that you have the most beautiful eyes on campus. And, hello? Hello? Oh, no, not again. Come on, Danny. That was moist even for you. Oh, Danny, my guy. Who's my reflective sister-in-law this week? You can't still be chasing that Kangana. Her name is Kalpana, and we're in love. Oh, you're in love? Of course. Does she know that? <laughs> well, maybe not just yet, but you realize soon enough. <laughs> Unbelievable. You seriously need some more self-respect, Danny. Listen, Isha. I'm just waiting for the right girl to come along. In fact, now might just be my chance. <clears throat> oh no, please, please don't tell me you're gonna embarrass yourself like this again. Hair on point, check. Fresh crepes, check. Single and ready to mingle, check. All right, let's do this. Danny, you're not gonna try one with Tanisha, are you? Please, he can't hear you, he's in the zone. <clears throat> hey Tanisha, how's it going? Daniel, what a lovely surprise. <clears throat> Dear Danny, well, you can call me whatever you like, dude. So tell me, did it hurt? What? When you fell from heaven? How about this, Danny? Would it hurt? What? If you took a shower for once, now please get out of my way. Wait, wait, Tanisha, wait, please. Look, I just wanted to ask you if you would like to go out to dinner tonight. Oh, Danny, that's so sweet of you. Thing is, you're just not my type. Which is? Attractive. Now please. Get away from me. I've got better things to do than stand around and talk to the likes of you. Girls, let's go. Area. Saba, sweet, sweet Saba. Feel my coat? See, that's boyfriend material. Wait, what? Hi, 
मेरा दिल टूट गया <laughs> ये मेरे सब क्यों होता है <laughs> well, This guy has tried to pull every girl on campus. Shouldn't we go and do something? I mean... Go, go, listen, we never leave a man behind. Come on, Daddy, my guy, get a grip of yourself. It's terrible, Sabi. Here I am, this Roman Casanova, ready to give my heart to a special someone. And no one's interested. Maybe Tanisha's right. Maybe I am clapped. <laughs> Bro, don't talk nonsense. You know you're a real cat. Danny, you need to lower your standards. You better practice on the little fish and then work your way up to the big leagues. You know what? Let's take a look. Get up. How about her? Who is she? Is she even our year? I've literally never seen her before. She's sitting eating lunch by herself. Guys, no. come on, give it a rest. <laughs> I mean, come on, even I'm not that desperate. Ooh. <laughs> aye, aye, boys, chill, chill, chill. Come on, let's head for lunch. Hey, Bunty, you guys go, I'll catch you up in a bit. What's up? You realize your friends are a bunch of jerks, right? And you're just standing there and joining in? Oh, come on, I'm just trying to fit in. If I'm to get any information from them, I need to gain their trust. No, I know. But you got bullied for what? Like, 12 years? And now you've suddenly forgotten what it's like to be on the receiving end? You know, that's rich coming from you. You bullied other people for, what, 12 years? And now you're trying to take the moral high ground. Whatever, man. I'm just saying, don't get too cocky because the cool kids are paying attention to you for once. We're meant to be pretending, remember? You know, if I didn't know any better, I said that you were jealous of me for the first time ever. That I'm getting more attention than you are. I'm not jealous. Now go on. You better, you better catch up with the lads before they get suspicious. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Uh, here you go. Listen. I'm really sorry about my brother and his friends. It's okay. They don't remember me, but it's not the first time something like this has happened. Right. Um, I'm Bubbly, by the way. Anika. Listen, Anika, uh, if you're not sitting with anyone else, why don't you come and join us? Really? Me? Sit with all of you? Yeah, of course. Right, guys? Absolutely. An enemy of theirs is a friend of ours. <laughs> Come on, man. Enemy's a bit dramatic. It's not dramatic enough. They strut around here like they own the place. They treat people like dirt. They do no work all year. And they think that... <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's just hard sometimes, you know. Actually, you know what? I think we just need to relax a little bit. I've got the perfect place I'd like to take both of you. Oh, where? Somewhere less stressful than this. A place you can really relax, you know. <laughs> well, are we going to see Crystal in summer? Exactly. Crystal and... Fine, whatever. Anika? Oh, let's go. So, Anika, what do you study? Physics. Physics? Nice, nice. Like, uh, potassium and stuff, right? Yo, yo, yo. Jay, that was quite the corker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, really got you guys good there. How are you finding Tripoli? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, lecture slides are a bit boring, you know? <laughs> I mean... Would it kill them to put a few more pictures in? Uh, I guess you can't have everything. Are you sure you're an engineer? Yeah, uh, of course. E equals MC squared till I die. Uh, rest in peace, Stephen Hawking man. 
You're funny. You just don't seem like an engineer. Oh? Why? The way you stood up to Savvy like that, it was like you were ready to fight. That was impressive stuff, you know. You should consider training with me someday. <laughs> training with you? I'm expertly trained in Krav Maga. I could teach you over a hundred ways to kill a man with just your bare hands. Um, I don't believe learning of YouTube counts, but... <laughs> Ever actually been in a fight? Hey, hey, guys, you'll see me in action one day. I've just been waiting for the right time. I mean, if you want, you could train with me. Triple E is killing me slowly anyway. Might as well speed up the process. <laughs> Count me in two. I've got four lab reports and a Python assignment due just this week. So what about you, Anika? What's your thing? Um, studying mostly. I've been reading this really interesting book on... Stop! I can sense so much negative energy in this room. Very bad vibes. And these new spirits? Yash, why have you brought strangers to our temple? Bubbly, Anika, meet Crystal and Summer. They're kind of like the gurus around here. Uh, nice to meet you. You? Your chakras are all over the place. There's more to you than meets the eye. So many secrets, so much nervousness. <laughs> Come on, Jay, what are you hiding? Hiding, hiding, always hiding away. So much sadness. Desperately waiting to be noticed. Searching for a friend. <laughs> yes, make them stop. <laughs> Guys, thank you for the analysis. I mean, clearly we're not all in the best place right now. And that's why we've decided to come here. And where is here, exactly? Therapy, darling. The cleansing of the soul. Welcome in the good energy and expel the bad. If you need to relax, these are the people to go to. They're highly in demand, you know. They don't just offer out their services to anyone. Right. And what exactly are your services? Music. Music? Music. They're the presidents of the music society. So, what exactly? You're going to strum a guitar, sing a song, and all of our troubles will just go away? Shh, my child. Less speaking, more listening. Now, what shall we go for? Something slow and steady? Or maybe some jazz to calm the nerves? No. Just look at them. So much desolation. We need something to lift the mood. I think I've got just the thing. Perfect. Now, sit back, relax, switch off your phones, switch off from the outside world. That was amazing. I haven't felt this happy in weeks. Our work here is done. Now, Yash, take your new friends and run along. We have a recital next week and we're painfully... Before you leave, something to enjoy for the road? Wicked! Now, this is what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, lit. Curly fries from the Union, right? The Union? No. This is the good stuff. But keep it hush-hush, okay? You just have to try one. I, uh, okay. I don't see what all the fuss is about. It's just a right. Oh my god! This is incredible! How did you get it this good? Secret recipe, who knows? Where can I get some for myself? You can't just ask that, Bubbly. Everyone's got their own dealer. If you know, you know. If you don't, well, we can't tell you. We can buy some for you if you'd like. Of course, we charge a small commission. Postage, packaging, that sort of thing. Right. Uh, I think I'm good for now, thanks. Listen, guys, I should really get going. I think Bunsy's left me a few missed calls. I'll see you later. Okay, see you later, man. Uh, Anika, it was really nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, Bubby. Um, if you'd like, maybe you can do this again sometime. <laughs> what? Get bullied and eat curly fries? Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, if you want to, you know, just, just let me know. Sounds great.
Listen, okay. I really gotta get going. Okay. Right. See you soon. I'll see you. It doesn't matter. Come on, pick up, pick up. Ah, voicemail. Sam, listen, I just got my hands on some curly fries and they're so good. I got them from the music society presidents, but they're not the dealers. I think squad knows more than they're letting on though. I just need to gain their trust. Call me back as soon as you get this, okay? Weird, he always picks up his phone. I wonder what's happening. Man, I cannot believe she rejected me so hard. She just mean. Who was she exactly? Tanisha and her gang of giggling girlfriends. The sneakiest, most popular, and most attractive girls on campus. Come on, they're not all like that. Really? Because I heard that last year you tried to join their squad and they rejected you? No, come on, it's not like that. I was just trying to be nice. Honestly, I don't see what all the fuss is about anyway. Everyone just wants to impress Tanisha. Too good for any guy and too cool for any girl. Apart from those brainless Barbies that she hangs around with. Forget about her, man. She can act all prestige if she wants. So, what exactly are we doing here? Same thing we do every day. Nothing! Shut up. Um, speak for yourself, because some of us have societies to run. Oh, society. Lots of friends. Great. Really good banter, guys. In case you didn't know, Felicia here is a dancer. That's how we met at EMW auditions. EMW? Oh, please, don't get started. She'll literally never shut up. Ignore him. E-M-W. East meets West. It's this huge show that the Indian Society does in March. And this year, I'm in charge of one of the dancers. Bunty, why don't you get involved in EMW? Surely you must be able to bust a move. Yeah. The Dean was telling me that you used to be one of the most talented breakdancers in your school. <laughs> What's he now? Uh, he really shouldn't praise, be praising me so much. OMG, yes! You should join our dance, you'll be perfect! Uh, thanks guys, I think I'll pass. Go on, Bunty, you'll make so many new friends. Woo! I mean, it's just not really my kind of thing, you know? Well, you never know until you try. Okay, how about this? We're literally just about to go and rehearse. So, you can see what we've done so far. We'll show you what our dance is like, and then you can decide afterwards. Fine, show me the dance. But I'm warning you, it's probably gonna be a no. We'll see about that. Rakta, everyone in formation! Well, what do you think? Um, be honest with you, that was brilliant! So you'll do it! You'll take part in EMW! Uh, I, I mean, I've got exams coming up, I really need to be studying. I'm joking, of course I'll yeah. do it! <laughs> I did that in a... <laughs> hey Bunty, you got a minute? This guy again? Bunty, do you want us to sort him out? No, it's okay, it's okay, I'll deal with it. What's up? Nice to see you're enjoying yourself. Why haven't you been checking your phone? I've been trying to ring you. Sorry, I must have missed it. Never mind. I got my hands on some curly fries. They're literally being sold everywhere, if you know the right people. Problem is, no one trusts us enough to sell these. Well, I mean, we're not exactly Beanox, are we? So I'm thinking we need to find a way to get to know as many people as quickly as possible. I mean, what's the quickest way to boost our reputation? That quickly. I've got it! What? We'll throw a house party! Think about it! With the amount of people there, there's bound to be some products being dealt around. And with everyone drunk, we can easily probe for more information. Exactly! Now all that's left 
is to plan the party. Well, I think I've got some board games we can use. And I make a mean peach crush cocktail. You, you know what? Maybe leave that part to me. If there's one thing I learned to do at uni, it's how to throw a party. <laughs> You've never thrown a party before. I've never been to a party before. Well, take it easy, man. Tonight's your time to shine. Let's just keep our eyes on the prize, okay? Yo, big man Bundy, what are you saying, man? All right, Sabi, how are you enjoying the party? Free, that is so good. Um, yo, listen, Bundy, I know you said it was open invite and stuff, so I invited some friends from home down. That's what you. Um, yeah, sure, I don't see why not. Yo, boys, come in. Kind of thing. Wait, wait, wait. Are you guys dancing? Oh god, you guys are gonna be best mates. Yeah, actually, we just finished re rehearsal for Africa now. It's like our version of BMW. That's amazing. You have to show us some moves. Oh, come, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, all right. DJ, hit the track. Yo, Sabi, we're gonna see who's outside. We'll catch you in a bit, yeah? Safe, guys, in a bit. Go see what you can find out. Hey, Rishi, you are. So, you seem I'm feeling kind of hungry. Do you know if there's any food about? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you should ask Sabi. Because I've heard he's got some real tasty tricks up his sleeve. Does he? Hey, Sabi! Yo, yo, my guy, what's up? So, I hear you sell curly fries. Wait, shh! Keep your voice down and yeah, sell a bit. So what? Actually, no, see, that, that's cool. You see, me and the bubbly, we're kind of strapped for cash these days, you know, being students and that. So we were kind of hoping you could cut us into the business. Seriously, Bunty? I mean, you're my friend and stuff, but I've known you for what? A few weeks? And bubbly? Don't get me started on that, guys. Do you really think I can trust you guys enough to cut you into the business? Wait, is that Tanisha coming over here? Hey. Uh, hi. Uh, hey, Tanisha, how's it going? Long time no see. You're Bunty, right? You're the one throwing this party. That's pretty cool. I'm almost impressed. Uh, Bubbly here. It's my party too. See that guy in the blue jumper behind me? Uh, yeah. That's Ria. He's been talking about you all week. We're going to stop talking about the brand new medic doing EMW this year. Talking about me? Wait, what's EMW? I know. In fact, you've been causing <laughs> quite the stir around campus. I wonder what the fuss is about. Tanisha, wait, please. Please. Look. Have any of your friends been talking about me? Yeah. By the way, Danny, Saba said you should stop texting her. Saba? Did you get my last message though? Yeah. The one about how nice she smells. Yeah. And the one about how nice our, our children will look. Yeah. Don't contact her again. Nice party, Bunty. No way, yo, Bunty. She was fully flown with you, my guy. Honestly, I've never seen her compliment anyone. Hey, Bubbly. Hey, guys. How's it going? I have to say, this is an amazing party. We've never been to anything like it before. 
Hey, I'm glad you like it. Good night for night. Go have fun. Bye, right, see you later. Hey, Bubbly. Hey, Anika. Um, thanks for inviting me, but I think I might go. What? Why? You just got here. I know, but this isn't really my thing. I don't really socialize like this. Look, I can't be bothered much for this either. But hey, if you never try, you'll never make any new friends, right? How about this? Why don't we go around together? Like a couple? Yeah, like a couple of good friends. Come on. <laughs> no way, yo! Bubbly found himself a girl. I mean, just scraping the bottom of the barrel a bit, but it's kind of cute, you know? Like Romeo and Juliet, but with crippling social anxiety. <laughs> What the hell is your problem, Sabi? Why are you always trying to pick on people? Seriously, relax, man. Learn to take a joke. There's only one joke, and I'm looking right at him. If you've got something to say, say it with your chest, big man. You straw around here thinking you own the place, Then you're so cool with your beard and your fade. But you want to know what? Take me to Bradford City Centre, and I could find 50 people who look just like you! You know what? I've had enough of you. Someone needs to know some sense into you. Me and you, right now. No! No? Yeah, were you? Deaf and stupid? I said no. What's wrong, Bubbly? Are you chicken? <laughs> What did you call me, Sabi? That's it, isn't it? Nothing but a little chicken. Nobody calls me chicken. Nobody. Prove it. <laughs> Sabi, you're a medic. If you get into a fight, your career will be over before it's even started. Fine, fine. You've got a point. There's only one other way to sell this. Ready when you are. Right. Right, gentlemen. I would like a nice, clean fight, please. Touch gloves. Round one. Sabi, you're up. What's that? Pull up, skirt, skirt, skirt. You're just a little nerd. Yeah, yeah. You think you're bad to the chill with gas. Move out my skank and watch you dash. Calm it down, calm it down, calm it down. Calm it down. Can you reply to that? Alright, check me out, check me out, check me out, check me out. Spicy samosa from Umbala. I eat that! <laughs> One pound pif fifty pound from Ilford! I spit that! <laughs> Surplus HD? I watch that! Your eyebrows! You do that! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright, come it out! I think it's time for round two. Sabi, go again. Imperial College Triple E, full of nerds and full of knees. They're up just like their degree. Catch you at the library, chilling on your Blackberry. Outdated just like your trim. Your lifestyle? That's grip. <laughs> Bubbly? Just go easy on him. 
Your highlights. Dead. Ooh. Your stomach. Well fed. Oh! 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 Bobby! 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 Sammy. You know what? Bond this. I'm out of no, it. No, Sammy, wait. Great. Now look what you've done. We're meant to be gaining his trust, and you've just gone and annoyed him even more! Oh, I'm sure we can live without his pearls of wisdom. Well, you might want to rethink that. He's one of the dealers. Wait, what? Yeah, I just found out today. I asked him to cut us into the business, but he was having none of it. We need to get on his good side. Ah, what a mess. What is your problem? You've been beefing with Sabi since day one. <laughs> Why are you defending him? You know, ever since we got here, you've been acting so out of character. So, so... So what? So confident? So sure of myself? For once in my life, it's me who's in the limelight! And you have to bought the joke! And you just can't stand it, can you? Don't you get it, Sam? It's people like Sabi who used to give you a hard time. No, it was idiots like you who used to give me a hard time. Look, with all the time I spent with my new squad, it's made me realize I'm not that person anymore, okay? Exactly. You got a second chance. Shouldn't Sabi just get one too? You're right. I'll go see if I can smooth things over. Thanks, Sam. Hey, Pavli. Hey, Anika. Thank you so much for sticking up for me. No one's ever done that for me before. Yeah, sure. Listen, it's really not a big deal. I gotta get going, all right? Yeah, okay. Maybe we can... Oh, I'll see you. Hey, Anika. <laughs> Do you like him? No. Or maybe. Oh, he's just so kind to me. And he's so tall. You'd think he was the footballer. Well, that would be something. But it doesn't matter. I know he doesn't like me that way. No, he does. That is true. Seriously, there's no point lying to protect her feelings. Bubbly sees her as a friend and nothing else. He practically looks straight through her. Oh, that's not true. He's right. And can you blame him? You're like a mouse, always so frightened and in hiding. What you need is a confidence boost, a makeover. A <laughs> uh, makeover? Yeah, hair, clothes, makeup, the works. A brand new you. You would do that for her. Oh, come on. Don't act so surprised. I'm not a complete bully. Anyway, I can't wait to see the look on everyone's faces when you walk in a changed woman. Soon enough, you'll be rejecting guys left, right, and center, just like me. <laughs> That's really... so kind of you. Yeah, a little bit too kind. Anyway, we better get to work. Let's go, Anika. Hey. Hey, are those curly fries? Um, no. Where did you get those? Yeah, uh, good girl! Uh, uh, you'll never catch me alive! Jack! Run! He's on to us! <laughs> Yash, uh, idiot! Yes. Okay, I'm selling curly fries. I'm sorry, okay? There's just so many people here. I couldn't miss out on this opportunity. No, no, it's fine. But where do you get them? Do you cook them yourself? <laughs> no, no. I just sell them to make some money on the side. Oh, so, who supplies you? I, I don't even know. I've never even seen his face. But people call him... What? They call him... The Black Death. The Black Death? Listen, this is the alcohol talking. I've said way too much already. <laughs> but it's been a great party, man. Thanks for letting me sell. <laughs> so, 
Zabi and Yash, two different dealers in two different social circles. I mean, it makes sense. Spread the product as far as possible. But who is this supplier they're talking about? I mean, the Black Death. What even is that? An adult? A, a, a child? A student? Or something else entirely? Um, excuse me. I'm looking for Sabi. I've been looking for him for a while, actually. I spoke to a few of his friends and they said maybe I could find him here? Yeah, he should be here. I'm his sister. He's meant to be meeting me. I'm Ronnie, by the way. Bubbly. Wait, so you're his sister? Yeah, and I need him to come and help me out. You know, he's such a good brother. He always knows what to do when I'm in trouble. Oh? Why? What's wrong? See, I'm hosting this huge fashion show in the Great Hall. We've sold so many tickets and everyone's going to be there. The big problem, three of my designers have dropped out last minute. How last minute? The show's in four hours. Oh, that last minute. It's a disaster. My models don't have clothing. I'll be a laughing stock. <laughs> oh, um, hey, uh, don't, uh, cry. <laughs> Give me a few minutes, all right? I'll make some calls. <laughs> Hello? It's Officer Jay Kapoor. Do you remember that drugs bus we did in South Hall a few months ago? Yeah, we raided a boutique and it ended up being an undercover meth lab. That's right. Do we still have all the clothes that we confiscated? We do. Oh, brilliant. All right, I'll be buying half an hour to pick them up. Thank you so much. All right, bye. Ronnie. What? Get up and get your performance ready. You're about to have your fashion show. What? Really? I don't understand. How? You just leave that to me and hope your uh, brother turns up to see what a great guy I am. Thank you so much, Bubbly. I can't believe that just happened. Don't worry about it. It's calm. Ronnie! Ronnie! Ronnie, oh my god. I'm so sorry I'm late. You see my phone died and stuff? and I missed all your text messages and stuff, but I saw the show, it was in... Wait, what's he doing here? Hey, Savvy. Bubbly, what are you doing around my sister? I swear, Bunty is not gonna save you this time. Savvy, wait, Bubbly made all of this happen. What? See, my designers cancelled on me last minute, but he had some crazy contacts and sorted it all out. I could not have done it without him. Wait, why was he even with you in the first place? I was trying to find you. I wanted to apologize for what happened last night. Honestly, Sabi, it was such a big success. Everybody's talking about it. And in fact, a company approached me and offered me an internship at their agency. It's like a dream come true. You really did all of that? Bubbly, nothing's more important to me than family. Nothing. I, I can't forget this. Look, I'm sorry for what I said at the party and before. But you have to admit, you've crossed the line a few times yourself. Especially with what you said about Anika. That was not okay. Listen, man, you know I was joking. There's a fine line between joking around and being rude. Fine, fine, I'll stop making jokes about your little girlfriend. No, no, she's not my girlfriend. Oh, but you want her to be. Maybe. We are getting on really well and her eyes sparkle like the brightest stars in the galaxy. Aw, that's cute. Well, since you technically have helped me and my family, I think I can help get you a Nika. In fact, I think I've got a book for this. It's called Che Din Larki In. She'll be your Sonia in no time. You'd really do all that for me? Of course. Bring it in. It's so nice to see you two finally seeing eye to eye. Listen, Bunty, uh, since I do technically owe you guys a favor now, if you still want in on that curly fry business, I'll make it happen. <laughs> Splendid! Does that mean we get to meet Black Death? 
Wait, no, how do you even know that name? And no, 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 here's the plan. I'll get the product from the supplier, you two sell. Cool? Yeah, that'll be good. Make some room, people. You're about to be blown away. Oh. What are you shut up about now? Take a look for yourself, Danny. I don't believe it. I don't understand. What? What's going on? <laughs> Anika! I... Bubbly! You! Are you blushing? <laughs> You're right. Just leave me here for a bit, man. I'm just thinking about what? About me and Anika. Anika, Anika, hey. Hey. Uh, listen, I was wondering if you're free, obviously, um, if maybe you'd like to do something this evening? Yeah, I'd love to. Really? Yeah. Sick. Uh, okay, I'll pick you up from your place at seven? Yeah, I'll be waiting. Matt, all right, I'll see you. See you. Worked like a charm. <laughs> Boys, you gotta help me out. For the first time in my life, I'm actually nervous before a date. Don't worry, man. We'll got you covered. Here's what you do, yeah? You gotta take us somewhere artsy, like the theatre, ballet. Sabi, my G, it's ballet. Oh, well, I mean, can you blame me? We don't have that stuff in Ilford. But, back to the point. <laughs> you gotta show that you're cultured, you know? Take it for a nice meal, have some deep conversation, crack a few jokes, and bang, you're done. Easy. Look. I found the perfect place for you to take her as well. Ooh, let's see. Bollywood dancing, posh looking venue, a nice restaurant a short walk away. Yeah, yeah, this will work. And as for the conversation, we've got you covered. We'll take care of the logistics. You focus on getting ready. You've got a big night ahead, my guy. Anisha, Tanisha, honestly, I can't thank you enough, see? Don't say I don't do anything nice. So, what's your game plan? Um, I don't really have one. You don't have a game plan. I know. How stupid of me. What do I say? Hey, what do I Sava, say? you're scaring the poor thing. Listen, let him take care of all the fine details. He'll probably take you to some restaurant, make some deep conversation, crack a few jokes, and you're done. Easy. And as for the conversation, I've got an idea. That I'll take care of the logistics. You just focus on getting ready. You've got a big night ahead. Bubbly, that was incredible. The way those dancers moved. I've never seen anything like it. Right? It was quite the spectacle. And look, here we are, and our new stop for the evening. It's beautiful. A traditional and authentic Moroccan dining experience, complete with cross-legged seating and our very own vaguely foreign waster. Sir, madame, Fish. please, please, come this way. As requested, sir, the padded picnic food. I'd pull up your chair for you, but, uh, Bubbly, come in, do you coffee? If you can hear us, ask for the menus. Uh, could we get some menus, please? Pizza! Sir, madame, what would you like to order for starters? We want to hear it now! Can you hear us? Is this thing on? If you can hear us, order the garlic bread. Um, could I have the garlic bread, please? Here, a garlic bread? Really? I thought we were trying to make her seem classy. Starters, guys, quickly. Um, chicken salad. No, that's so dead. Get four samosas. Chicken salad. Four samosas. Chicken salad. Uh, uh, could I, could I please get, um, uh, uh, four chicken salads, please? Four chicken salads, sir. Are you sure? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. You idiot. Look what you've done, Sabi. What I've done, that's what it gets for listening to the clean freak. What's he playing at? Huh? Obviously trying to show off. Uh, weird black, but okay. <laughs> Very good, sir. And what about for the main meal? Wait, you send me highly this time, okay? Order the mixed grill with rice. Uh, I'll have uh, I'll have the mixed grill with rice. Excellent choice, sir. And for you, madam? Um, say you'll have what he's having. Independent woman. She does not, she she can pick a dish by herself. Fine, just get something sophisticated. Um, could I get something sophisticated? <laughs> um, the chicken tagine is fairly sophisticated. Yeah, I'll have that. Very good. <laughs> okay, so conversation time. Why don't you ask her? Oh, what made her want to study physics? Uh, boss man, have you ever been on a date before? <laughs> ask, her something, ask her something silly, like what her favorite color is. Come on. Uh, so, Anika, <laughs> what's your favorite color? Girls, come on, favorite color quickly. Um, dark red, seductive and mysterious. Black, badass vibes, and even more mysterious. You're such a god, Saba. Dark red. Black. Dark red. Black. Dark black. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, good. Ask her if she's okay. That's fair compassionate. Yeah, sorry. I'm just a bit nervous. Oh, that's okay. So am I. Look, clearly the small talk isn't working. It's time to tell her how you really feel. <laughs> Repeat after me. Ever since I saw you, I've wanted to make you my princess. Uh, Anika, I wanted to tell you that... No, that's so moist. Daddy, you act despicable. Get to the point and repeat after me. You're not dead gorgeous. But where's the poetry? Think about the impact ever since I saw you. Oi, who's the only one that actually has a girl here? Yeah, that's what I Princess! Um, Bubbly, you wanted to tell me something? Uh, Anika, ever since I've met you, I've, I've wanted to drop dead. <laughs> That's, that's not what I meant to say. What did you mean to say? Oh, oh no. Bubbly, this is bad. I just got a message from Big Bal. He said it's been a family emergency. What the hell that means? We need to get out of here now. Bubbly, leave! Anika, I'm so sorry. I need to get going. Wait, what? Where are you going? It's a family emergency. I'll explain later, I promise. Bobby! Here's the garlic bread and the, uh, the four chicken salads. Can I add a quick takeaway, please? Sure. And how will you be paying? Hard? Well, there goes my student finance. <laughs> We both saw it. We came as soon as we saw your message. What is the emergency? The emergency is that I want to know why my two undercover operators are doing everything except investigating. <laughs> what do you mean, sir? Oh, I made sure to keep tabs on both of you just to make sure you weren't goofing around. And what do I find? Dancing at dance rehearsals? Actually, sir, I'm in a show called EMW. I'm performing. Actually, I, I should be at rehearsals. Did you know it's the longest running student show in the history of the UK? I don't think I've ever told anyone. 
Shut up, you bloody idiot. And you, Jack Kapoor, you've been going on dates with children. Her, her name is Anika, sir. And she turned 19 in October. Hopeless. I should have known better than to trust you both. That's it. Hand me your badges. No, no, no! Wait! Wait. Okay, sir, so maybe we've been getting involved in one or two extracurricular activities. But we've been investigating too. We know two of the dealers. And we know the supplier's name. The Black Death. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Impressive. But still not good enough. You do need to find the supplier. And you only have tomorrow to do it. What? Why? It's funny you mention East meets West. We are strong and tell that whoever the supplier is is looking to move thousands of pounds of his product at the very same show tomorrow. But who's going to buy that much? Friends, family, siblings, literally hundreds of people from all across London that come to watch Kutte like you perform on stage. <laughs> if we don't find the supplier by tomorrow, this will all be for nothing. It can't be. We've come too far. Don't worry, sir. Come down to Imperial tomorrow. I've got a plan. God help me. You two are our last hope. Hardly! God, what a... <laughs> what a day we've got tomorrow. I mean, EMW, curly fries. And a Nika. Oh yeah, that was a bit of a sticky one you left yourself in there. <laughs> I, I just kept talking and things got worse and worse. I'm not like you, Sam. I don't know big words. I have trouble articulating. I don't know how to express my... I can't put my thoughts into words all the time, you know? Have you tried singing about it? Singing about it? Wow, that was a bit deep. Uh, you've really got feelings for it, haven't you? Right, here's what we'll do. You focus on finding a way to apologize to Anika. I'll put plans in motion for tomorrow. Whatever happens, we are catching the supplier. All right, sounds like a plan. Wait, one last thing. Whatever happens, however upset she gets, you cannot reveal your true identity to her, okay? Don't be crazy, man. Of course I won't. Right. Can you explain to me what we're doing here? We're cutting Bunty into the business. Uh, and you don't trust him to do it on his own? Stop eating the supply. I just thought you could use some encouragement, you know? <sighs> encouragement? Sabi giving someone encouragement? Sabi being nice to someone? Jesus, Bubbly must have really gotten into your head. Sharp man. I'm just trying to make an effort, you know. When have you ever made an effort with me or any of my friends? Or anyone who's not a football craze medic like you? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry for everything, man. You know, the little jokes, the practical jokes, all of that. The time you hit my drone out of the sky with a bottle of Mirinda? <laughs> that was funny. But no, genuinely, like, I am sorry, man. Truce? Okay, fine. Truce. <laughs> right. I hate to break up. This beautiful bromance you've got going on here. Can I just get down to selling? Oh yeah, okay, basically, over there is DK Barat. They're rehearsing for their performance later tonight at EMW, which means they're hungry. Should be an easy sell. Good luck, bro, you've got this. All right, let's do this. <laughs> just like you said, they were so hungry, easy sale. In fact, they were so hungry that they wanted even more. Say, a hundred boxes. A hundred boxes? But only if they get it within the next few hours. We'll be rich, but I don't have that much product. Sabi? Wait, a hundred boxes? Are you mad? <clears throat> well, I mean, if you don't have it, surely you can just contact the supplier. You know, Black Death. 
Wait, um, I don't know about that. We haven't told him that we've made you a dealer, and he might be a bit annoyed. Surely he'd be more annoyed if you passed up on the sale of a lifetime? He's got a point. How about I call up the Black Death and pretend it's my order? No, 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 no! Come on, you said you trusted me. If I really am going to be part of the crew, then introduce me to the supplier. Uh, he's got a point, Yash. And besides, if he meets the Black Death, he can get roasted instead of us. Okay, fine. I'll send him a text. I'll let you know when he replies with the time and location. But don't speak out of turn. Don't look straight at him. And don't be late. Honestly, I just don't get what Bobby said. He really said all that. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Men are trash. <laughs> but he was my trash. Danica, babe, you need to take your mind off him. This moping around and feeling sorry for herself, it's not an attractive look. Okay, come on, Tanisha. What if we make it up to her? Oh, I'm sure he can explain himself. This isn't a rom-com. You can't sit around here waiting as if he's going to burst in and beg for forgiveness. Anika! Oh, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> look, guys, Anika, just give me a chance to explain myself, please. Go away, Bubbly. Anika is D-O-N-E with you. It's okay, girls. Go on then, Bubbly. Explain yourself. The acting weird I can get, but just running off like that? You don't understand. I wish I could tell you everything, but I can't. See? If we don't have honesty, then what do we have? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I have this, uh, I have this uncle, and he's really, really ill. I had to go and see him, otherwise I'd be letting the whole family down. What about all those awful things you said? I'm so sorry. I was nervous, and I got my words twisted. The truth is, I'm not the guy you think I am, Anika. I'm not kind, I'm not smart, I'm definitely not humble. But you make me feel like one day I could be. I like who I am when I'm around you, Anika. When I'm around you, I want to do better. I want to be better. And that's... That's the truth. Ha! That was kind of moist. And that's coming from me. So, what do you say? <laughs> Looks like I arrived just in time. It's so great to see you two finally made it. Yeah, it took us a while, but... Wait, why are you dressed like that? My costume? BMW? I'm performing? Oh my gosh, you must be nervous! I mean, I was, but seeing you two, first time in Yash, made me so happy. <laughs> I guess love really is in the air. <laughs> really? Uh, hey, Tanisha, how about no. you? No. <laughs> Actually, Danny, maybe if you're free this weekend... <laughs> yeah! Okay. I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? That would be great. I cannot believe this is happening. Looks like everything is finally coming together. Bunty! Bunty, there you are! We need you up in the Great Hall now! We're going on stage in ten! Can you just give me one minute? <sighs> I managed to arrange a meeting with the supplier. What? Really? When? How? It is now. The only thing is, he's expecting us all in 10 minutes. But I mean, I've got to be on stage now. So it's got to be you who goes in. Don't worry about it, bro. You focus on your performance. I've got this. Today's the day we make our careers! Well, it'll be me doing all the heavy lifting. But I'll make sure you get some of the credit. Bunty, come on! We really need to go! Hey, Bunty! Yeah? Break a leg, man.
Okay. No stress. This is it. Infiltrate the dealers. Find the supplier. Right. I'm bubbly. The butt death, I take it. Uh, I'm just a guy looking to sell some curly fries. Uh, okay. Play cool and don't draw your gun too early. Bubbly. Mr. Death. Hey. Just uh, going to sell some uh, skills, fries or they're big curly. You must be the new dealer. Bubbly. Bubbly? <laughs> You're the new dealer? I guess I should have known with Yash trying so hard to bring you in. Uh, Anika! I don't! I know this must be a shock for you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I wanted to, I really did, but I didn't want to scare you. You! You're the supplier? You never told me about being a dealer. So I guess we were both keeping secrets from each other. But don't you get it, Bubbly? This is amazing. You and me, we can work together. The both of us against the world, a dream team. Who else knows about you? No one. I've been careful about it, okay? Bought this whole costume. I even designed a voice changer. Why? Why would you do all this? Money, mostly. <laughs> what difference does it make? Don't look at me like that. Bubbly. My name is Jay. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm a police officer. I was sent here undercover to find the curly fry supplier. To find you. What? So this entire time, was everything between us a lie? Was any of it real? I mean, how real could it be? You only noticed me after I glowed up. You never even liked me for me, did you? How can you say that? I loved you from the start. You were genuine. You didn't care what anyone else thought. And now, why would you do this? Oh, because I was nobody! I was nothing at all! Ignored! Made fun of! But then I started selling curly fries. I became the Black Death and I had respect! Power! For the first time in my life, I was important. You were important to me. Before all that. And now... You ruined everything. Okay, Bubbly. Jay, listen to me. None of this matters to me. Only you matter to me. We've gone away together. Just the two of us. I've got money from the curly fries. More money than you can ever imagine. We could go anywhere, do anything. Don't be crazy. Why would I run away with you? Guys, you should have seen it! I've done it! was amazing! Wait. Anika. You're... No. No, no, no. Jay, don't tell me you've been working with her! I mean... Wait, Bunty, stop! Please! Sam, please, I swear. I just found out about this. He's telling the truth, I, I never told him anything. Get out of your game! Oh. You're on your arrest! <laughs> Jay! Please don't make him do this. 
why would I help you? Jay, get her on the ground! I gave Big Ball this location as soon as I knew we'd be meeting the supplier. He'll be here in 10 minutes. And I want her in handcuffs before he gets here. But he's not, please. I don't deserve to go to jail. And neither does Jay. Me? Why would I go to prison? Jay, the whole campus knows we were together. Do you really think they won't think you were in on it? Oh, don't be ridiculous! No. She's right. You almost thought I was in on this. What's Big Ball gonna think? And the Dean? Do you really think for a second they won't believe I was a part of this? Unless... Unless what? Anika, did you really mean what you said? Do you really care about us more than all of this? I promise you, Jay, it's you and me till the end. What? Sam, you need to let us run away together. Tell them I went to confront the Black Death and I was kidnapped or went missing. Whatever they'll believe, the point is the curly fry supply will stop and you'll be remembered as a hero. What? Jay, she's a criminal! <laughs> and I'm your friend. Please, Sam. It's the only way. Are you crazy? You'll be on the run! They'll look for you! They will. And then one day, they'll stop. Please, Sam. It's the only way we can out get out of this. Don't do it. Cheer up. Sam Singh, the football sensation, soon to be daughter. It's been a pleasure, man. missing. I repeat, Jacob Paul has gone missing. He was last seen going to arrest the Black Death. We need a SWAT team. The helicopter. Send everything. <laughs> <laughs> 